Kids Are In Bed? Kids Are In Bed. Welcome, everybody, to episode 34 of The Kids Are In Bed. I'm Tim Severson, and this is Jenny Severson. Jenny, how are you doing? I'm great, thanks. How are you? Good. I was just thinking about that uh, P. Diddy song you've been playing over and over oh again. Oh, my God. Stop. <laughs> Inappropriate. It's lies. It's lies. You were just saying he's your favorite. I thought. I haven't thought about P. Diddy in decades. What about Puff Daddy? Nope. What about Diddy? Nope. What about Sean Combs? Nope. Yeah. Actually, when we were in the car the other day and you said Sean Combs, I had to search my brain. Oh, do you remember that that was his? Somehow I was thinking Sean William Scott. Mm. I was like, is that Stifler? Like, I did not equate Sean Combs with Diddy. It took some searching. <laughs> I All got right. there, though. You did. You did. You got there. Yeah. Uh, no. Kidding. That that was all just a joke. That I like P. Diddy yeah, and yeah, have been yeah. listening to his music? <laughs> yes. yes. That was clear. That's... Yeah, that was okay. clear. Uh, we had the ice cream truck swing through the neighborhood yesterday. As it does. Sunday afternoons. And... By some sort of luck, I actually happened to have cash uh, from uh, the last time I played golf. Won some money. You, yeah, you. Yeah. So I had cash on me. So I was a great dad. I heard that. I heard the ice cream truck and went upstairs preemptively. I could see Jude biking down the street and had the money ready for him. And then I reminded him to get something for Clementine. And he took off, and I had given him a $20 bill. What did he come back with? A box of ice cream bars. <laughs> I think there were like 11 or 12 in there. 12, yeah. I think that was right. <laughs> I love that kid. I'm just like, explain to me what happened. <laughs> how, how, how did this transpire? He just goes... I went up to the window and I said, how many ice creams can I get for $20? <laughs> Actually, when he explained it to me, I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the guy was like, this many. And Jude was like, I'll take it. And he just handed him a box and he came biking back with a box full of ice cream uh, bars. And then, good. And then now that I think about it, because then it was down the, it was down the block mm -hmm. and they had gotten their stuff. And then I think Jude just had to get himself organized to bike back down. And by the time he was biking back down, he kind of was coming behind the ice cream truck. And we were waving at him. And the audacity of that ice cream truck driver to stop at our driveway. He thought you were waving <laughs> him down. <laughs> oh, look, another customer. <laughs> Wonder if they've that got guy, a 50. That guy looks hungry. No, uh, it was, yeah, it was great. It was, it was pretty funny. It was, it was very funny. Very funny. I really enjoy that child. Yeah. I was also going to talk about, uh, I saw uh, a podcast clip uh, where these people were talking about that there's a new Instagram feature that is going to send a notification when you zoom in on a photo. And I was like... No, I'm like, that can't be. And then they explained it like the reason behind it was that for advertising. So there could be notifications to companies who are selling something. So it'd be like, oh, you have a user who is interested in something in your ad is the way that they described it. And I was like, I don't, I don't want to talk about that without knowing. And so then I just, so right now, while we were sitting here, like before we got started, I was Googling it. And now I'm just really frustrated because it is so impossible to figure out what's true and not because there's, I know it's not because there's no media about it, right? It's only in socials that this is existing. So I get it, but the one, the first thing that came up was a thread of somebody posting a like sh 
or re-threading uh, some guy with this name like Montessori who said, this is a hoax. And then the internet's like, see, it's a hoax. And I'm like, well, who's that? <laughs> it's not even a real name. So I just hate all of that. I'm so sorry. But I, I, was, I was interested when, at first because I'm like, because it kind of makes sense, right, from like a marketing standpoint. The the idea that they would, yeah. But how the hoax started was just trying to scare, scare some yeah. ex girlfriend, yeah. that she was going to get well, busted. or or dude. I mean, yeah. right? I mean, anybody. Yeah, uh, yeah. My my point was they're just trying to scare people. Yeah, because yeah. When I first read it, I was like, "What if I zoomed in on? Well, I've zoomed in on some stuff." I imagine. <laughs> yeah, just leave that one left alone. I don't need to really talk about that. <laughs> Notifications all over the world. Just, I'm zooming in all the time. I zoom in sometimes, like to look at an outfit. Like if it's like a um, picture of yeah. like a bunch of uh-huh. people uh-huh. and I want to uh-huh. see the outfit. Uh-huh, yep. I'll zoom in closer to be like, oh, that's a cute outfit. Ah. Oh, how'd she tuck that shirt in? Yeah, we basically do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's exactly what mm-hmm. I'm. I'm like, oh, yeah. do those have? Po- does that have pockets? Yeah, you know. Yeah, like, that's adorable. Mm-hmm, it is adorable. Yeah, but it's not true. So, but what if it was? If it was, I think social media would, uh, it would see be, a downturn. It would. Yeah, it would be an. That would be the end of Instagram. Mm. Yeah. yeah, the best thing about is Instagram is that you can creep on people without them ever knowing. Is absolutely the best part of Instagram. I mean, people, but again, it's like you're welcoming creep if you have a public profile. You're welcoming people to yeah, look through your yeah, stuff. Yeah, if you're not if you're yeah. not set on private. Yeah, yeah. You're basically saying, yeah, everyone, come look at my stuff. It makes me feel good that uh, you know, regardless, like I know there's a bunch of followers that are definitely like a Russian bot posing as like a sex worker or something oh oh oh, geez louise you don't get those i get those a lot i usually start in her gracious they always start with messages and they're like hi handsome how are you but then they'll also be like you have a beautiful family and i'm like where is this going and usually we'll go back and forth a little bit but then they get tired i think of my ridiculousness yeah as we all do (laughs) even the bots can't handle it (laughs) undefeated baby um Yeah. Well, I think we should transition to our year. Uh, As you'll recall, Jennifer, we are recapping. We are now we're getting down on the final stretch of the we started dating in 1999. It'll be 25 years uh, in two weeks and two weeks, two weeks. Gee golly. And so we are trying to decide what the best year is mm-hmm. and spoiler alert it's not this one <laughs> yeah yeah it's definitely not going to be this one should we just wrap <laughs> yeah right that's it it happened we were inside a lot uh no we are right now 2019 was our sleeper kind of a sleeper pick kind of not really complete I mean, family yeah, and all but yeah. But not for the re. I think the reasoning was different than maybe we thought it would have been. Oh, was it? Yeah. All right. All right. Because remember, go for football. No. <laughs> Your reasoning <laughs> might have been different. Uh, so that's that's the winner right now. That's number one, and we have four years to go, and uh, we'll see. We'll see if there's one last Cinderella story, or if uh, 2019 will hold it out. Yeah. So as you'll recall, the world was literally falling apart in 2020. I recall. There were fires. There were elections. There were a lot of things went down in 2020. Most notably, though, of course, was the pandemic. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. (laughs) COVID-19. Boo. Boo. 
<laughs> Clementine started doing that. Yes. Just booing at like the most hilarious times. Yes, it is. Boo. <laughs> it's usually when Jude is trying to do something he's a little nervous about very yeah. earnestly, like yeah. sing something, and he does like a decent <laughs> job. So just go, boo. <laughs> so funny. It's so harsh. <laughs> it's funny every time. <laughs> Uh, okay, but 2020 did did bring along with it uh, some celebrity uh, and pop culture events that are okay. worth note. Interesting. Can't imagine what they could be. Tiger King. Never seen it. I know, but <laughs> I know the song. Yes, yes, I do know the song. Yes, yes, heard it, sang it, <laughs> loved it. Carol Baskin. <laughs> and that document. I can't believe you didn't watch that. You just weren't interested. You would walk through and see it on, and just be like, nah. Nah. I didn't watch anything. Yeah, that's in 2020. True. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think I watched a single thing yeah. for an entire year. Yeah, I spent a lot of time on, on my own in the mm-hmm. basement. Yeah, most people drank away 2020. Yeah. I mean, when you ask most people what they did, they yeah. were drinking with their neighbors. Yeah, vast majority of people. Yeah, I just slept. For an entire year. I drank whiskey in front of my computer screen, Zooming with my friends. Yeah. And all I ever Zoomed were people that lived across the country anyways. Yeah. I didn't Zoom with anybody that like I was like could go get a beer with. I was just Zooming people from everywhere because I'd never Zoom with anybody or FaceTime. Right. I have FaceTime. I don't know why I'm saying Zoom. That's what everyone says. Yeah. Yeah. It's like uh, a verb. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wait. Uh, yeah, so anyways, I wasn't wa- I I literally didn't watch a single thing. Yeah. For the entirety of 2020. This was this was when TikTok though hit. This is when it all kind of really took off. And not for me. No, not for you, Mm-mm. but uh for the rest of the world. Oh, nice. That's that's when that all started to go down. This is also when uh Megan and Harry decided that they did not want to be royals anymore. I do recall that. Good decision or bad decision? Good decision. Yeah? Yes. Okay. I mean, I actually like the royal family quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and follow them <laughs> for the rest of my life. I like I like the tea. I like the royal family, isn't it? But um, I supported this. Yeah. Listen, there's there's some shit. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, generations worth. Yeah. But, I mean, to be royalty. Or not. Clearly. Yeah. Because at, at this point, yeah, you've you have, transcended yeah, royalty. Yeah, right. That's true. You don't have the distance you can walk how many kingdom. Gener- how many generations does that last, do you suppose? Probably as long as they're still... Recognized as royalty, I would say. Oh, like as long their, as their family name? Yeah, as long as their family is still just, royal. Just the pure association mm-hmm. makes them not all the way royal, but mm-hmm. a level above us uh, common common folk. But it actually is very common. People abdicate it all the time. Yeah. It's not that strange. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think if the royal family were no longer royal, it would last it would take two generations for them to mean yeah. nothing. Yeah. Interesting. Just my guess. Hey, uh, this was the year WAP came out. Psh. I have a, I guess you can't call it a bet if it's with yourself. I have a commitment, maybe a bet, but I've made a commitment to myself that I will die without ever seeing that video. I'm going to play it on your deathbed. Why would you do that? <laughs> That's so mean. I spent my entire life not watching it. And also, you think you're going to be alive? Like, what? <laughs> on my deathbed. <laughs> You'll play it on your deathbed. Yeah. <gasps> That's even worse. Oh, my God. Devious little sucker. You hear my death rattle while you're watching yeah. Megan the Stallion and uh, Cardi B twerk. I've heard the song, never seen the video. I have made a resolution not to watch it. Yeah, um, it's uh, it's something gratuitous. Not bad though. 
I'd watch Would it you again. be zooming in? Uh, there's no need. There's some <laughs> things you don't need to zoom in on. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's like imagine you had a picture of like the full moon. It's like I don't, there's no really need to get too much more detail than that. You know, maybe you want to see the craters or whatever. Oh, ew! Oh, <laughs> you, dang. you did it! You see? How did you fall for it? Moving on. Moving on. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my god. This is when everybody decided uh, they didn't like Ellen anymore all of a sudden. I don't really understand that. I know people have said that she was mean. But there's not really... I've never seen her be mean. Have you ever seen her ever? Well, no, but like, I, you know... There's cases where people have been celebrities have been mean to people, and they're oh, like caught on caught video? on on recording. You know, actors Tom Cruise yelled at people on the set of Mission Impossible um, Christian about Bale. Oh yeah, Christian Bale. Yeah. Um, there's lots of there's lots of you know times that that's happened, and there's not. I just never heard anything that made it sound like maybe she was severe and difficult to work for Mm -hmm. but i don't know i don't know if she deserves to be done but she's she is either about to or did perform here and i guess she said like that's it that's her last special and she's done oh really i do think severe and difficult to work for was the general accusation yeah i think that was i mean but yeah people say that about lots of people Mm. So what? I, like, I don't know. She's funny. I think maybe it just is. Um, Separate the artist from the art. She's yeah. funny. Let her be funny. Like, why does she have to be the best boss? I think more so than it has to do with, um, like, people's perception of who she is. Like, she's not. Her brand was the opposite. So if you were just a jerk and just showed up as a jerk and your art made it anyways, then that's fine. Yeah. But her brand was positivity and happy. And- right. But, but just that nature, I feel like she spread that anyways. I don't know. I'm team Ellen. That's all I'm saying. I, I, I until I see proof of, of something that I, I deem as like over the line, mm-hmm. uh, I'm, I'm still going to watch her comedy, I like right. her, which I know she isn't like canceled, canceled. She's getting a Netflix special, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's not like she's hard against Rough it. Life. But. I do think, though, that there seems to be a certain, a definite correlation between hosting a show and being a jerk. Well, yeah, I mean, it's... Clear, clear yeah. correlation. Uh, because people say that about even, like, Steve Harvey, and they've said it about... Uh, Jimmy Fallon? Jimmy even Fallon, got it. yeah. Mm-hmm. And Jay Leno. I mean... I think um, Letterman was kind of hard to work for, too. What's his name? Corden, he got completely canceled. Oh yeah, I guess, James. Yeah, James Corden. James Corden. Yeah, canceled. The only one I've never heard a bad word about who I miss is uh, Craig Ferguson. Craig Ferguson was the man. Wait, there were two Craigs. He was the Scottish one. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Who's the other one? Kilborn. Oh yeah. No, I don't like Craig Kilborn. Craig Ferguson. He yeah. was on uh, the Drew Carey show. Yes. Yeah, I yeah. like that guy. Yeah. You have harmonicas. Uh, yeah, do you blow the mouth organ? I, <laughs> I, do you blow the mouth organ? How do you think I got this job? <laughs> <laughs> he's the best. Yeah, I've never yeah. heard anybody say a bad. I, I mean, he still like does stuff, but yeah. when he had the, because he was like the the late the late late show, mm. right? Yeah, but his show. You was, should be sleeping. His show was so funny, and mm. he is just great. He did good interviews. Yeah, I liked him. Awesome, dude. Mm -hmm. That's it. The other the other notes aren't anything that interests us. All right, let's get into our movie games. They're going to be quick, um, just because we didn't see a lot of things. But and the box office one. But believe it or not, enough people went that there is a box office. So I would like you to tell me, Jenny, which mm-hmm. of these movies you think mm-hmm. was the number one of the box office in 2020? Bad Boys for Life, 1917, Sonic the Hedgehog, Jumanji, The Next Level, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. And that's continued success 
from 2019. Mm-hmm. Well, so, that has to be the same for 1917 too. Yeah, ni- I think 1917 that came out the year before. Uh, came out um, in December, like mm-hmm. late December. Oh, Star Wars. Final. Final. Incorrect. Sunk the Hedgehog. Incorrect. 1917. Incorrect. Jumanji. Incorrect. <laughs> Bad Boys for Life. Oh, my God. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. <laughs> I do love... Uh, so the first Bad Boys, the first time I saw the original was uh, when I went to Disney World when I was nice. in fifth grade. Me and my buddy that came with me watched it in the hotel and... It was like we were, so we were 12. Oh, Martin Lawrence and Will Smith being dirty for, I mean, it was like perfect. We thought everything was just the funniest thing. You know what I mean? Okay. Anytime they swore, you know, it was just like, this is amazing. Um, and then the second one, it's got the best scene of all time. You remember what scene I'm talking about? Give me a hint. Um, fish tank. Martin Lawrence accidentally gets all uh hopped up on ecstasy and they go over to like their captain's house and he's looking at the fish tank this is a nice fish you know big fucking eyes but a nice fucking fish (laughs) i don't think i've ever seen that before it's the best (laughs) what do you love about it what what do you love about it Why do you like it so much? (laughs) It's just a question. (laughs) Why do you enjoy it? Why does it make you so giggly? It's just, it's a very, it's a very funny line. And like the way his eyes are all magnified. And then just the, the accent that he's using is just, I don't know. It's funny. You don't find it funny? I mean, I guess maybe I need to watch the whole film. Have you not seen that movie? (sighs) Can't imagine. Oh. I've seen the first one. Which one is the one where there's like a daughter or a sister or something? Does Will Smith like date the guy's like sister? That's the second one. Oh, yeah. I guess I have seen it then. Yeah. That's the one when I uh, that scene with the Martin fish Lawrence's eyes. daughter is being taken out on a date and the guy shows up and Will Smith yes. pretends like he's yes. fresh out of jail, like uncle. Yes. Yeah. And they do their little back and forth on. I have seen that. Motherfucker, you look 40. <laughs> Reggie. Reggie's the boy's name. Good stuff. But Another yeah, one just came out, didn't it? I don't know. how. I don't even know how many there have been now. Or is that the last one? This was four years ago? No, I, I think there's another one. It's either on its way or it oh, yeah. might have just come out. I I'm swear sure. I heard a story from a mom I know that mom and kids went to kid movie and dad went to snuck out and went into the boys. Respect. Yeah. I like that. Bad move. boys movie. So there must be a fourth one. Yeah. Uh, the only movie I'll talk about that came out that year, because I still don't know, and we've talked about this, is Tenet. I really want to see that. Yeah. I want to see it, but just never get around to it. Okay. Well, we'll watch it. And then... and then I love Christopher Nolan. He's, I mean, my favorite films. We should watch it and talk about it and mm-hmm. see, if, see if you can explain it to me. Maybe you can explain it to you me. You have seen it? Yeah. Oh, well, what the heck? You were sleeping. I probably started it at 8 o'clock. Dang it. Yeah, I do really want to watch that. Yeah, you would like it. It's just, bah, like, a lot. Um, I like those kind of movies. We'll talk about this because Hamilton was released on Disney Plus that summer. Oh. And we woke up at... Three in the morning. <laughs> like freaking lunatics with a freaking one-year-old and yep. a four-year-old. Five. Four. Yeah. Sleep is important. Yeah. You should never wake up at three in the morning it was with a am- one-year-old. It was amazing. It was pretty fun. So it was. So much crying in the basement. Oh, man. I remember being kind of nervous, though, that we wouldn't be able to hear the kids all the way down there. Like, what if they wake up? They didn't. It was fine. Yeah. Or they did, and they went back to we bed. Had, we had cameras, so I don't think – we must have been worried that they would just wake up, and then we wouldn't 
it would interrupt the movie because we'd have to take them to bed and abandon ship. I think we just agreed that if they woke oh. up, we'd just call it and watch it oh. a different time. Oh, yeah, it was fun. Yeah, we got up. Actually, I I don't know. I must have been trying to take a picture to like commemorate when I woke up, but forgot that the flash was going to auto. So I just have a picture of me in bed going, oh. <laughs> nice. I have like Classy. Four, five chins. Um, you had short hair. Yeah, it was. Still, yeah, it was. This was the last year before your hair. Just yeah, it was just starting to get shaggy. Yeah. in that picture. I don't think so. Just a little. Pretty tight. Just a little. Oh, okay. Just, a, say little, so. just a little. Say so. Just a little. <laughs> yeah, but that was that was fun. And then we just went back to bed for a little while. Well, yeah, it was. But it was like five fifteen. That's still bedtime. I think I got up with People the kids who and wait. made breakfast. I'm so, so sure you could sleep in. What do you mean you're so sure? You do that now. You do that now, but that oh, yeah. is a recent yeah, development. Yeah, that's true. Back then, well, Clementine didn't like me, so it's not my fault. <laughs> she loved you. Every uh, song is like just when you think of TikTok. Remember when you said you don't want to do it? <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of tired. Um, I'm just tired tonight. I'm sorry. When you think of TikTok, mm-hmm. what's the first song you hear mm. in your head? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't place it. Yep, that's it. 100. Yeah. percent So there's like all those songs. Like yeah. it's so funny because we didn't do anything that year. So all the songs that are on the list are songs that I'm like, oh, yeah, that was on TikTok for oh, yeah. a minute. And, yeah. Yeah. Because we didn't – there was no tailgating that year. Yeah. There was – we were not – we didn't do anything. Well, yeah, us and everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. So get ready for a lot of good stories. Yeah. <laughs> Buckle up. <laughs> um, I, I, did, I wanted to ask you one question about quarantine. Um. Did you ever clean off a Target order with Lysol wipes, like the bags? Sounds like something I would have done. I feel like I probably did it like once or twice. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was going to say. I Because I was, I was trying to think of what's like – what was the th- – did we have like a thing that we did that looking back – that would be the one that jumps to my mind where you're like, that was kind of silly. Like that was a, a bit much. I don't think it was silly. Oh. If you don't know. Yeah. You just don't know. Oh, I look at that and I'm like, that was kind of. Oh, I don't think it's silly. Oh. To just be cautious <laughs> when there's a it's, I mean, deadly okay, fine. pandemic. All right, fine. May, right. Should there should there be bacteria or a virus on the bags? Of course, it will kill it. But just the the there's something about the practice of it is just inherently silly. No, I'm like no, you don't see that at all. No, I think at the time it was just like the thing you were supposed to do. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't feel. Silly I don't know. For me. some reason, like I'm just picturing, just like you know, you you um, scoop the like it's a plastic bag, and you scoop the two handles together, and you kind of go <laughs> go like this. Just, I definitely didn't do that. What did you do? No. Like, that's the whole thing. I don't think it was the bags. I think it was, like, the items. Not the bag. Oh. Like, wipe down the items. And then wash my hands. I always thought it was the bag that was supposed to be washed. Well, I didn't do any of it, so. I think probably one of the most embarrassing things about me is that I got my... uh, COVID shot early because I was overweight. <laughs> Why is that embarrassing? And you did it on I, purpose. I know. Because I you... want I wanted the shot because yeah. I just wanted to be done with it. <laughs> so I called in and I was just like, oh, be sending the shot. And they're like, all right, come on in. Didn't they say, didn't they make you repeat it though? Yeah. I thought they were like, what? Yeah. And you're like, I'm obese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obese. But got me the shot, so that was good. That yeah. was good. Um, I can't even remember what I had. Moderna. Remember when you knew what everybody's, everybody asked what you had? Yeah. 
Was, I mean, what else were you supposed to talk about? I know. I know. Yeah. Did you know that your vaccination card has been sitting on the counter for like a week? Yeah. Because I found it on the floor in our bedroom. Yeah. I was like, what's this doing? So I set it on your counter. You never know. We're going to have to cash that baby back in. <laughs> I think if you fill up all the all the slots, you get like oh, a, a freebie. I got mine in the uh, kitchen at a kitchen table. Oh, yeah. So I didn't get a card until my second shot. Yeah, that was a shady deal. And then they had. Where the, did you meet that guy again? The second. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> the second time I went in and actually got it inside of a medical establishment, they were like, "What do you mean they didn't fill out your card?" I was like, "Yeah, they didn't fill this. They didn't fill this out the first time." They're like, "Well, I'm not supposed to do that, but okay." So they just filled one out for me. I'm just remembering this now. Remember when we had to go get tested at the clinic, like in Plymouth, and it was like the drive through testing, and mm-hmm. the kids had to get the nasal swabs? Mm-hmm. That was neat. Yeah, that was rough. It was like the, it, it reminded me of the ending of ET when they have like all the doctor's equipment like set up on the street and you're, everybody's got the masks yeah. and stuff on. They're like, oh, we're just going to jam this up into your nasal cavity and roll it around for a little while. So if you could just hold your four-year-old steady, it's yeah. like, yeah. Have you seen them get stitches? You <sighs> know what's weird though is our kids never got it. Well, I guess it's not weird at all. Kids didn't get it at uh, the well, same rate. But they had, yeah, but they, never had it. there were cases in their daycare. Um, I remember yeah. like, Classes got shut down. None, neither of their classes, though, I don't think. Nope, they didn't. Lucky. Right? I was thinking about that, too. We were lucky that they were in daycare and not, like, could you imagine if Jude was in kindergarten and we had to do distance learning? Yeah. That as far as, been, like, when should this happen, oh, the me. daycare centers stayed open and both of our kids were still in daycare. That was... Um, Very fortunate. That was good, yeah. Because yeah. then by the time he went to kindergarten, we still there were still like some things that were rolling over. Like we yeah. couldn't go in the school. I didn't see the inside of the school. Yeah. Well, we were for, both we were both very quick back into our offices. We did like the mandatory like state shutdown, but yeah. then we were both back to work. Mm-hmm. Masking. I mean, all day. I, mm-hmm. Like end of May, early June. I want to say. Oh yeah. Was, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think the mandatory shutdown was only a couple weeks. Yeah. And then. Um, yeah, you might have gone back a little before me. I was at home for a couple weeks. Yeah. Because it was, what was the term that was everyone was using? Not critical, but. Oh, um, essential workers. Essential workers. Essential yeah. workers. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, quite a few places were Essent- claiming to be essential. Well, you know. <laughs> Let's just say. Are you sure you were essential? Yeah. I mean, so yeah. I mean, who's to say? The government, I guess. <laughs> yeah. No, but there was a minute where you had to like have your like proper documentation on you, especially like because we had overnight workers. Yeah. And some of our overnight workers were like worried that yeah. they would get like stopped at night. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy weird, times. Weird time to be alive. Mm-hmm. You know what I think is interesting about that time is, so I mostly slept and you mostly watched a lot of TV and drank whiskey by yourself. Mm -hmm. We, I feel like, (laughs) well, that's what happened. Just telling the truth. I feel like most people, when they talk about their COVID stories, they had like circles where they were like, we didn't have a circle. Like we didn't. Besides, like, going to work and, like, being masked, we didn't have, like, a circle of people that we would just hang out with. We went, like, months, I feel, without seeing people. Yeah. Like, our friends and family. We just, like, hunkered down at home. And a lot of people did more, like, um, they made the decision on, like, what – level of risk they were comfortable with and a lot of people just like naturally built in their little like circles they're like as long as we just stay in this circle we're fine but we were just like well i guess we just stay at home now yeah yeah so yeah that's that's true Mm -hmm. i think i that was just because 
Jude and Clementine were so little and it was kind of like why risk it I think maybe it was where our heads were at I don't know it doesn't feel like it was a conscious decision it was just what ended up happening yeah. I don't know we went some places we did do a, a couple of things uh, most notably uh, we went on a perfect little fall trip just across the border to Wisconsin and to Fonderosa. Oh yeah. To pet to pet deer. That's because it was nature. It was outside. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. So we could do that. And so um and it was great. So fun. And love that place. Jude only ran away like a maniac like once, um, where we got a little irritated with them, but mostly it was a good day. And then we went to they have that drive in in mm-hmm. town. Those deer. Yeah. Walk right up to you. Yeah. They'd, you'd turn around and they'd just be standing there. Standing behind there. You. Yeah, you can feed them right out of your hand. It's crazy. Yeah, it's very fun. It's a very strange place. It is strange. Very surreal. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so we went to that diner. That was great. And then I just was like, we should go check out the waterfall. You and your big ideas. <laughs> Let's go check out the waterfall. We're in jeans. Jeans with a big stroller. Such and, a big stroller. And well, they had a paved path, but every other person there was like in hiking gear. There were people climbing up the side of the, the rock face. And Jude was like, I want to do that. And we were like, no, that's not really the thing. And then Jude ran uh, like down a side path towards the water and jumped up. And there's like a woman leaning against a tree, like reading a book peacefully. And he was jumping the, there were like two boulders and he was jumping back and forth. And they, I mean, the gap was nothing, maybe eight inches, but he's jumping back and forth. And so I just went up to see what the view looked like. And he was doing that two feet from the side of a 60 foot drop to water. And I was just like, okay, don't scare him but he needs to move away from that edge right away. So I was like, you need to show mommy this. You need, And so that got him to go run back down. But there were like other people up there and nobody seemed concerned with a four-year-old playing by the cliff edge. I think they thought someone else was responsible for it. Well, I, but, I mean, <laughs> come on. So you're saying if you saw somebody else's kid yeah. playing by the edge of a cliff, you wouldn't say, hey, where's your mommy or daddy? In my memory, he was like running towards it. Yeah, he beat me up there and then yeah. he was jumping back and forth yeah. as I got up there. I feel like there. you just really toned that down. And like he was running <laughs> towards the edge of a cliff. Yeah. That yeah. is what happened. <laughs> like, oh, he was just like jumping back and forth. No, he like sprinted towards it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that never was, did find that waterfall. Nope, we couldn't. We couldn't make it because it was unclear where to go. And then we went further down. We should definitely go back and find the waterfall. Yeah, and and we took one family picture by the water because we were done. It was time to go, and we took the picture. And the next thing after that picture, Jude sprinted away from us. Yeah, and he went. There was like he did the splat, that. the splat, the path split, and he ran over this big rock. I went that way. You went around. I come over the rock, and you're like, he is up and over, and he ran up like a, it was probably like a thirty degree incline of like you know rocks and dirt, and I mean he was in the woods, and so same thing. I'm trying to get after him and he was playing on another flat rock but it was a cliff and it was like 40 feet down (laughs) to the path below and it was like when i found him it was like being in you know a dream like if you're trying to do something but you're weak like have you ever had one where you're trying to hit something Mm -mm. and and no (laughs) and and like you can't like that was because i was just like my legs were shaking and remember what he was just turned off. Yeah. So I was just like, excuse me, Jude. <laughs> Can you come over here, please? This is very dangerous and I'm scared. And he's just like, watch this. And he's like, <laughs> did a 360. And he's like, his feet are sliding closer and closer to the edge with every jump. And it's, yeah. 
And I was just like, please, buddy, I really, really, really need you to come back to me right now. And he came back and I was just like, I was so mad taking him down that hill. And then I saw your face and you were mad. And I'm like, oh, (laughs) we were letting him have it on the path. And he was screaming and mm-hmm. we were dra- I think that's the only time ever that I've dragged yeah. a screaming we, kid. Yeah. yeah. We were dragging him mm-hmm. out like like two bouncers taking a, yeah. a you know mad girl out of a bar just like two one hand under each arm and we're both just like you shut up you shut up. <laughs> <laughs> then he wouldn't get in the car. Oh, well th- there was a couple like getting their carabiners all worked up and they were like I was like, oh, say one word. They I dare you. Yeah, he wouldn't. Oh, and then. He opened the car door yeah. while you were driving. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they have child locks. He got out of his harness and. No, I don't think he got out of his harness. Why wasn't he buckled? Well, that's a good question. I don't think he could get out of his harness. He knew how to get out of his harness. Oh. He unbuckled himself and then reached over and opened the door and was trying to get out. Yeah. Did he get out? No. Okay. No, you were driving. We were still in the parking lot. Yeah, but yeah. the car was moving. Yeah, five he, miles an hour. Right, but he unbuckled. <laughs> no, but he unbuckled while the car was moving. Yes. And then he was, listen. Oh, boy. That. <sighs> Unfortunately for him, it's about a 35-minute drive. (laughs) Hmm. I think he loves – I think he's going to be like a free – Yeah. Free – what are they called? Well, he's – no, he's lost that daredevil in him a little. He's not quite at that level anymore. Back then, I thought that – he it was, was in his happy place. Uh, Alex, whatever the dude, free solo. Free solo. That's I thought. I thought say. he had the yeah. same functioning a, yeah. amygdala. Like yeah. he does not register fear like other people. But now yeah. he's he. Th- there are things that he's scared of that it's actually kind of. He's scared of bushes. And bees. <laughs> what? That's why he doesn't want to go get his football. He's not scared of bushes. He's scared of bees. And bushes. That there might he, be a bee in the bush. He's, he's not scared no, of a plant. He, he's, sca- he's like, he's <laughs> like, I don't know what's in there. I'm like, it's a bush and you're a third grader. Like, go get your football. He did get stung in the nipple to be oh, fair. It was traumatizing. Yeah. So anyways. Yeah, that was that was a beautiful morning turned into the worst mm. afternoon I think we've probably experienced as a as a foursome of a family. I think that's the yeah, worst that that's the worst day of our of our collective lives. Yeah, it was no good. <laughs> he almost died multiple times. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't ideal. No, never mind. Let's not go back there. Yeah, right. Right. I was thinking like maybe now he's older. We could actually. No, go, I think but... I think it would be it would be better. We were just unprepared. Yeah. It was like an afterthought. I, it wasn't like a let's plan a trip to go on this trail. I didn't trail. know that we were going to have to repel to find the waterfall. <laughs> I thought I thought, you, I, you thought it was just going to be like on the side of the road. <laughs> no, I thought it'd be like Minnehaha. Minnehaha oh, Falls, you walk sure, through yeah. the parking lot and That's there's a true. waterfall. That's if you want to do more, you go that way and yeah. do more. You're right. But the waterfall is right there. You're I was right. expecting that. I see now. I I understand. Yeah. So yeah, that was so that happened. That was that was rough. Was this the same? I think we might have missed this because this must have been when he was younger when he ran out the front door at bedtime. He must have been like three. Yeah, that was our first. That, yeah, that was our first yeah. summer here. Just so, rem- so that would have been t- 2018. Him sprinting away. Yeah, 2018, Just 2019. Just made me think of that. Yeah. It's bedtime, and he literally. Ran down the stairs and out the front door and down the street. Well, yeah, I came downstairs and I'm like, I don't know where he is. And he was running across the street in his pajamas and bare feet at 745 at night. And he ran. He ran to the end of the block. Yeah. he Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. With me chasing him. Oh, my God. I have never been so frustrated in my entire life. Wow. Fast forward. I just carried him back to like Taylor's a, Falls. Like a football. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. 
Um, do you remember the song that we used to sing when we changed Clementine's diaper? I heard it in a video today and I had completely forgot about it. Can I have a hint? Well, if I, you'll get it right away. Oh. I, I'll just tell you. We got to change your diaper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got to change your diaper. <laughs> We got to change your dapper, Clementine. We got to change your dapper because it's time. <laughs> One of the best songs I've ever written. <laughs> yeah, I definitely forgot about that. <laughs> and it was you singing it. In the, and I was like, oh, yeah. And it was just like the last part. And I was like, oh, my God. I forgot totally about that that little tradition. Clementine also that year was into the movie Mighty Joe Young. Into. And I think we talked about Obsessed. that. Obsessed. I think we've talked about that because I think we talked about how we gave we gave her a gorilla and she was like, I don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> we gave her a stuffed gorilla we thought she would love. Yeah. But she was. She was obsessed. Yeah. Uh, stage right. She was one, two? 2020. She, she was, was one and a half. Obsessed uh, one with in a this few movie? months. Yeah. She would sit right in front of the TV, right right next to me, right here. And I was at a desk against the wall over there. And she would just sit and it would get over. And she would just say, more, more. And I was like, you want to watch it again? She's like, yeah. And I would just start it over. And she would just, whoa. <laughs> just, then she'd watch like two minutes and then I'd watch the rest of it. I started yeah. to like know the movie by heart yeah. after a while. It's a good one. I was going to say, we, we need to show it to her again and see if she has any interest in it anymore or if she has any recollection, but she can't, right? No. No way. There's no way. Yeah. I mean, she might like the film again, but she yeah. wouldn't have any recollection. What if she just hates it? I don't want to show her. Like she hates whoopee cushions. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, she wouldn't anymore, but we got whoopee cushions that year and she got terrified. Terrified. Would not do it. Some kids are scared of vacuums. And, Clementine was scared yeah, of whoopee and cushions. Sometimes things are just so funny that like I didn't scold. Like we'd let you do it a couple of times, and I was like, okay, that's enough. Don't torture her because it's like it's a whoopee cushion. Yeah. But what was funny is I showed I showed a video to Clementine today, and she laughed at herself. She was like, "Why was I scared of that?" I'm like I don't know. So. We went downtown Minneapolis for my birthday. That's the only other. That's the only other time we left the house. Otherwise, we were at home. Uh, <laughs> it was uh, uh, cheap rate at the Radisson Blue. Pretty, uh, pretty uh, empty down there we, in October 2020. We downtown found Minneapolis. A gem of a restaurant in FEMA's mm -hmm. downtown. I Have, drove. Right past it just the other day. I had amazing cocktails and awesome appetizers there. I drove right by it just like last week. Yeah. I was like, oh, there's Yeah, we much. stayed. And the only reason we went is because our room was positioned as such that I could look down. I'm like, oh, I wonder what that is. There's a restaurant down there. And you. They were so happy to have patrons. Yeah. I mean, there was they nobody were there. so happy when yeah. we came in. They, yeah. And I've heard I've, service. I've heard a lot of people talk about it, and uh, I've never heard anybody say anything but good things. Yeah. So we were I think there. It was very new. It was when we went there. Yeah. Yeah, I think it opened like late 2019. Mm, yeah, it was or delight. Maybe oh. spring. It might I even really been that spring. It. Yeah, it was you great. Go back there sometime. Yeah. And then we went to uh, Manny's, and that was only the only notable thing about that was that the walk. There and back in downtown Minneapolis on a Saturday night. Did we stay two nights? Yeah. Oh. And uh, there was not a single person. Yeah. We didn't see a soul on the street. Wild. We went to dinner probably at like 8 o'clock and came home at like 11 mm -hmm. and – not a single person. It was like we had the entire city to ourselves, which actually isn't really a fun feeling. No, it was very it's like not... post-apocalyptic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was waiting for some sort of robotic vampire to jump out at me or yeah, some Yeah, because it makes you not want to see a single person. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I, like need a I, need, I need a crowd yeah. or I need, I need 
Yeah. Nothing. One person equals extreme yeah, yeah, danger. Yeah. Run. <laughs> there's, uh, I don't know if it's a single guy or if there's a, a bunch of people, but it's become like this thing. Uh, guys will film themselves running and it's like part 39 of making sure girls get home safe and they're just running and then they turn the camera and there's a girl like sprinting in the other direction. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> that is actually durable. <laughs> durable. I think it's funny. That's it. That was 2020. We had holidays by ourselves and I, I was trying to make all these traditions. Like we watched Hamilton after Thanksgiving. I'm like, we should do this after every Thanksgiving dinner. And you're like, well, next year we'll have family around. I'm like, ah, oh, God damn it. We did Easter yep. by ourselves, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Yep. All those holidays. Yeah. Yep. We spent the 4th of July at my brother's pool. The height of summer. There yep. was a reprieve. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. We stayed outside. This was That was also the year um, we were there. I think the Kentucky Derby was like right around Labor Day. It was very delayed. Yeah. Uh, and my brother has the absolute worst Wi-Fi ever, right? Like so terrible. Yeah. Would you agree? Agree. Buffering constantly. No good. I talk to him about it. Tell him he should fix it. He always tells me it's great. But then you're watching the Kentucky Derby, and you've got a lot of money on the line. Remember how much we had on the line for that Seven, game? So much. Seven dollars? <laughs> maybe? Seven fifty, was it? Well, maybe you. I have these separate accounts that I <laughs> I had a lot of money on, on the race. And they were coming around the fourth turn. And I had been making jokes. And the whole day, the coverage, everything else was going on. It was great. And I've been making jokes. I'm like, you're really rolling the dice watching this here. And they go around the fourth and it just goes buffering. <laughs> and I was so happy. <laughs> I took a picture and sent it to him. Oh, and he was working. He was so mad at me. My God, it's so... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. God damn it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know why he doesn't fix the internet. I guess. Yeah. I'm sure this will be the call to action that he needs. Well, good internet's expensive. So, any thoughts on 2020? Uh, the one more, one more. We refinanced our house, which is not an entertaining story. But because it happened, we did it like in May or June. And so we had to do all the paperwork on our front step. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. Because the lady had to come to our home. Yep. But you can't just go inside a stranger's house in yes. a pandemic. So, so we, we sat on, on our the front, front step. step. Yeah. We were doing paperwork. And you set your ID down on the step. I said, are you sure you want to put that there? Oh, did you? <laughs> did you say that? Sure did. I don't recall that part of the story. Well, why are there holes in between the boards anyways? Shouldn't there be some sort of like cock in there or some shit? Like, why are there just holes? I don't even understand. I was just like, put a hole here. What? There has to be a better solution than having no holes in between boards. Mm. Turns out there isn't. My ID fell under the deck and it's not really accessible. Not the deck. It's just like the front. The very first step. Small deck. Very small deck. And it went down. And I don't know what. We, Jude. Did he get it? Yeah. I we had to send him under there. Did he end up getting it? Yeah. Yeah. We couldn't fit under there. He came out all full of dirt. And he he got scared under there. I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. We're right here, buddy. Yeah. And he Because he was freaked out because not long before that. There was probably dead animals under there. Well, we not like honestly, maybe a week before that, we had caught a snake and a mouse trap in the garage and it was pretty big. And that kind of freaked him out. Yeah. So. The lady yes. was just like, I could come back. We were having. We're like, we if were, you leave now, you're never, we're never getting this done. Because <laughs> we were having like, 
you know, a code argument. And I'm like, that's why I said, and you're like, I don't care what you said. <laughs> I, I, she wanted to leave so we were bad. fighting with our eyes. And I she, can go. She, she was I'll just, just come back. Let me know if you get it yeah, out. She was like, yeah, well, it's, you know what? Actually, I don't even think we need IDs anymore. Like, she's like, <laughs> You can probably get away without it. Uh, yeah, I think we've got everything we need. And we're like, you're staying. <laughs> like, you're here now. Uh, we got the idea out. It was fine. Everything was fine. Yes, yes. It all worked out. So, 2020. Boo! <laughs> Indeed. 2020 Terrible. was Terrible time. no You know good. what we didn't talk about? It was supposed to be the greatest year of all time, the way the calendar laid out. Like, end of 2019, it was like all the rage that 2020 was going to be the best year ever because of all the holidays. Oh, yeah. Fourth of of July was on a Friday. I remember that. Halloween was on a Saturday. I think, I mean, there were, it was like every holiday. Yeah. Somehow, every major holiday fell perfectly. And it was supposed to be the year of the most fun. And it was yeah. like all over social, like in late 2019. Yeah. Nope. Isn't it funny though? Like all anybody wants is to just like not go to work and stay home until somebody says stay home. And they're like, fuck that. <laughs> I need to get out of here. <laughs> we didn't leave our house for 24 days. When we were on that quarantine from yep. daycare, we got put on a 24-day quarantine, and we did not leave our house yep, we for were, 24 days. We were just on this property. We is spent a lot of time in, in the yard. There is a, It's the most pictures we have of us in the yard. Sometimes, like, just laying around in the yard. We just were going to lay outside. <laughs> yeah. We are just going to lay in this grass here. Well, because remember, like, I think it was – they did they close off the park, too? I can't remember. Like it was irresponsible. I know it was irresponsible. I know, for like sure. I know, like golfing. Like it was like, don't touch the flag. Oh my god! Yeah. Sakes. But yeah, yeah. Boo, twenty twenty. Boo! It's the year that never existed. We'll talk about that. I'm sure next year. Suck it, twenty twenty. Aggressive. Yeah, I meant it. Should we go check on the kids? Let's go check on the kids. See you next week, everybody. 